Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Rindon Reed, is a 15 minute walking at home. And I'm also going to show you 15 different walking exercises. So these are full body, low impact, it's a really lovely way to walk indoors and get your step count up. We're going to first of all start with a quick little warm up. So just follow along and the first move we're going to do simply is a side step with an arm bend. So we're just going to go for doing 10 of these. So step from one side to the other. And as I always say, if you don't want me coaching you, remember you can hit the mute button and play your favourite music. Now arms up and just give me this knee bend and just pull through with the arms. So we're just warming up through the hamstrings, also warming up through your upper body. That's good. And now just reach across. So this just helps to increase that core body temperature, just going from one side to the other. And well done, we are now ready for your workout. So I'm gonna show you a preview of the first move. The first move, we are simply just gonna be marching on the spot. So let's get ready and we're gonna start this now for 45 seconds of just marching. So this is what I'm gonna call walk snack one because I'm gonna show you 15 different walking exercises, indoor walking that you can do at home. So you can see here on the left-hand side, that timer and that arrow represents 45 seconds. On the right is your 15 minute countdown clock to the workout. So just carry on marching. So this is just marching on the spot. So this is a really great little walking exercise. If you get a free minute throughout the day, why not just think, just march on the spot for one minute. All right, that's good. Let's just keep going completing those 45 seconds. So just take deep breath in, deep breath out, a little bit of recovery, and then we're gonna have a look at your next walking exercise. So this one is a little bit more of a lateral walk, so it means we're doing a little bit of a lateral side step and just swing with the arms. So this is walk snack two. So again, here's another little bite size walking exercise. You could do it any time if you've got a free moment during the day. And this one here, specifically more, is targeting a little bit more through your shoulders, so working through the deltoids, also great for your upper back, plus we're targeting a little bit more through your inner and outer thighs. And low impact, and the great thing is with this move here, it's a lovely full body move, a really lovely walking exercise. And just keep going from one side to the other. Again, that's always 45 seconds, the arrow on the left. And well done. So just shake, shake those arms out and just give me a little tap. Just take your heart rate back down and let's just have a look at your next one. So for this one, we're gonna do again a lateral side step, but let's have some fun with this. And let's just really now give me some power behind each of those punches. So this is walk snack three and just keep going. And as your trainer, as I always say, my my role here as your qualified online trainer, I've been teaching for over 25 years, is just to really help you invest in your future health. And if you're not ready, come and find us on Facebook. We've got a group as well as a page, both under Lucy's squad. Just keep going, put power through each of those punches and let's just have some fun while we're at home. We're moving, we're taking control of your health. All right, that's good. Keep going till we've done those 45 seconds. And well done, all right, that's good. So just release those arms. And again, just take deep breath in, deep breath out. So we're gonna have a look at the next walking exercise. So this one here, you're gonna tap your foot in front and slightly across and swing the arms. So get used to the legs, and then when you're ready, add in the arms. So this one here is a fantastic walking, indoor walking exercise. What we're doing here, we're really also now working a little bit more into your waist. This is really activating what we call your internal and external obliques, obliques. So we're really engaging through those core muscles, plus we're really working extra hard through that inner and outer thighs with that as you step that foot in front. And always, if you can, work through your fullest range of motion. So swing those arms up as high as you can, always keep it controlled and step that foot over and as far as you can. All right, that's good. And just release. Just shake out those arms, deep breath in, deep breath out. 
and we'll have a look at the next move. So this one is going to test your coordination. So we're simply going to march on the spot, but we're going to alternate with a punch in front, out and up. So in front, out and up. And this is walk snack five. So punch up, in front and out. And this is where we can really have some fun with walking. When we're walking at home, it doesn't just have to always be just walking on the spot. We can add some arms. We can add some little twists by doing the side steps as well. So keep going. And this is really good for your brain and muscle connection as well. So this is going to keep our brain and mind fit. So keep thinking about it. You go up, in front and out, up in front and out doing really well let's just keep going and of course the great thing is because we're really using the arms we're increasing the calorie burn here we're working cardiovascularly a little bit harder and well done all right just release those arms deep breath in deep breath out and then we'll have a look at your next move so this one here we're going to be doing what we call a heel dig and just an elbow bend so you're just going to tap that heel in front, so a slight little bend in the supporting leg. This is walk snack six and here bicep curl. So this one is great if you're waiting at home for the kettle to boil or something, that I don't know, the washing to finish on the, the final spin. Just do some of these. The whole point with this workout is it's giving you a 15 minute walking workout, but I also wanted to show you easy ways that you can move more at home. All right, that's good. So let's just keep going. So the benefit here, this is just really now working through the ankle, through the knee and the hip joint, plus we're working through the arms. That's good, and keeping that going. Again, just completing those 45 seconds. And then we just march out, deep breath in, deep breath out. So next move, we're kind of doing the opposite now. So instead of the heel, what I want you to do is tap that toe in front and we'll do a full arm extension as well. So tap the foot in front. This is walk snack seven. Benefit here, again, these exercises are really gonna help with knee health as well. Because what we're doing is we're not putting any pressure through the knee joints, but we're strengthening your muscles around those knees. And that's how we can really build and look after our knees. So keeping that going. And here with the arms means we're also, again, working through the deltoids, working through the shoulders, and always just focus on keeping those core muscles engaged good keeping that going and as you can see here I'm traveling forwards and back so make the most of the room that you've got you can travel around the room while doing the exercise all right and just release those arms so next walking one we're going to have some fun here we're going to do lateral tap outs for four and then four power marches so another one fun one to really get that coordination working so four power marches and now tap that out for four. So this is walk snack eight and tap that foot out, that's good. So again, just really working hard through the legs, tapping that foot from side to side and then back to four power marches. And these, what I call kind of multi-sequence moves, one, they make the workout go faster, but two, it also just means we're working so many different muscles of yours and multiple joints as well keeping that going. So working the hip joint, working the knee joint, the ankle joint, working the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. Keeping that going, doing really well all the way till we've completed those 45 seconds. And well done. All right, so just march out, just swing those arms out, just reduce that pace. So next walking exercise, we're gonna do leg kicks and just swing through with those arms. So this one here, really good to work through the core as well, because what I want you to do, keep that upper body nice and straight. So this is walk snack nine. So we are flying through this, we are well over halfway, and let's have some fun with this move. Just really control that leg as you kick it out. Press through with those arms, and try and keep that upper body nice and tall for me as well. And remember, as I always say, if you come back and do this workout a second time, you don't have to have me coaching. It's just as your qualified coach. For me, it's really important to explain and make sure you're doing the exercises safely. That's good. And keeping that going. All right, well done. Kick that leg in front and really keep those core muscles pulled in. And again, another knee-friendly exercise and just march out. 
So next one we're going to do, again we're going to do back to a basic march but we're going to alternate with the arms. So we're going to do a shoulder press and then what we call a pec tech. So arms in and then up, in and up. So just keep that going. And on this one, so this is walk snack 10. Benefit here, we're working through your chest, working through your shoulders. And because we're keeping your heart, arms above heart level, the benefit with this is we're gonna challenge your heart a little bit harder. So it's having to pump that blood harder. So we're making your heart stronger. And let's not forget the most important muscle of all is your heart, keeping that going. And we're still walking on the spot. And this is how we can really turn it around. Instead of just walking at home, we can make it fun with these extra moves. All right, that's good. Keeping that focus, doing really well. So let's just get ready. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So next walking one, we're gonna do sets of four where we're just taking the arms out and in front. So we're going to go four power punches in front. Now give me four straight up and then four out to the side. So let's keep that going. So four in front. That's good. And I'm really testing your coordination. And this is also really good for your balance as well because we're making your core work harder while we're adding in the, this arm sequence. That's good. Keeping that going. So it's just those knee lifts and then those alternating punches. So on this one, working your entire upper body as well. And keep that upper body nice and straight. And well done. Okay, just release those arms. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So for the next move, we're gonna do a lateral step, but step the foot slightly behind and just go for doing a bicep curl as well. So this is now walk snack 12. And if you want to find out more about how exercise snacks can really help, I have got a blog on it on my website. So you can click at the end of the video, I'll leave a link and just have a read because it really gives you lots of different ideas on how we can just do short little snaps short little snacks of exercise throughout the day could just be 60 seconds of doing this move and how much it really helps all right that's good let's just keep going stepping that foot across and just bending through with those arms doing really well that's good and let's just march out, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and we'll just have a look at your next walking exercise coming up. So for this one, we're gonna simply do a march on the spot, but we're gonna have your arms crossed over your chest. If you struggle a bit with balance, you can place one hand by a wall. So why I'm doing this for walk snack 13 is this one here is gonna really help with your balance, but it's also gonna really strengthen your core because your core now because we're not having your arms to help with balance. Your core is having to work even harder as you alternate taking one foot off the ground. So it's really working what we call stabilization. And these are then become what we call postural muscles. So we're really working them nice and hard. That's good. Keeping that going, drawing that knee up. If you find it uncomfortable with the arms crossed for a long time, just release and place them back. That's good. Last little bit, keep that going because we've nearly finished today's workout. You are doing really well. All right, just shake out those arms. Let's just keep going to the end. So next move coming up, we're gonna do some walking and we're just simply gonna do some rolling arms. So let's just roll them over. This is walk snap 14. So we've just got one more to go after this. So here, what we're doing now, working a little bit more through the arms and also as we're rolling the arms up, we're working the heart harder as we're going above heart level and then bring them back down. And just keep moving. And the great thing is with this workout, because it's all low impact, you could do it in your pajamas, you can do it in your work clothes. You know, obviously I'm wearing fitness gear, but you can just make exercise work for you. The key thing is, it's just about moving your body every day. And we're doing this not to look a certain way, as I always say, it's simply about taking control of our health. All right, and just shake out those arms. 
So we've got the last move, which is my personal favorite. I saved the best to last for you. So this for walk snack 15 is something that I call tabbing. So this is something we used to do in the army. We used to walk like this. It would be really, really fast. So you used to call it tabbing. So you just draw those arms from one side to the other and you're tapping that foot across so it's a really fast powerful march and by using the arms like this really picks up your speed and again here great for the arms great for the waist you've got a slight lean forward with it keeping that going that's good so we've nearly finished today's workout let's just keep going to the end stepping from one side to the other and we've increased your energy we've looked after your joint health we've increased your calorie burn we've also focused on toning and strengthening through all the muscles and we've looked after the most important muscle of all your heart so what i want you to do let's just carry on marching now we're going to complete those 15 minutes we've got 20 seconds to go and with this you can slowly start now just bringing that heart rate down so let's just keep marching on the spot and do let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions about your training because as your qualified trainer I'm here simply to help you get in your best health. So well done, there is your high five and as always if you want to do a little bit of toning you've got my playlist there, five minute workouts. If you are finished for today come and do a cool down stretch, you can find it here or in the description and really well done today and remember what you and I have done is invested in your future health and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.